by the end of his life, he had collected four main pieces of evidence. The first and most obvious piece of evidence is the matching shapes of the continents or the jigsaw feet, much like a big picture cut into various shapes that fit together. If you look at the shorelines of Africa and South America facing each other, when brought together, they are a good match. The next evidence was found in fossils of once living creatures. For example, this ancient creature, an ancient freshwater reptile called a Mesosaurus. Fossils of Mesosaurus are only found in two places, the southern tip of South America and the southern tip of Africa. The Mesosaurus could not have evolved in one location and then traveled to another. It was a freshwater reptile and therefore could not have made its journey through the salty Atlantic Ocean. This indicates that during the time the Mesosaurus existed, Africa and South America were not separated by an ocean, but were rather connected as one landmass. There are also other creatures whose fossils indicate unique distributions. And when you reassemble the continents according to their shapes, the distribution makes a lot of sense. The next evidence is found in geology or rock structures. Similar to what he saw in fossils distribution, he saw in rocks distribution. If you look at the mountains of the modern day northeastern United States, they are the exact type and age of rocks found in the mountains of the United Kingdom and northern Scandinavia. Could the rocks have been formed at the exact same time in different locations? Very unlikely. The conclusion was that these rocks were formed at the same time in the same location before the land masses drifted apart. The last piece of evidence involves past climate of the earth. He studied things like glaciers. When glaciers move over the surface of the earth, they leave behind evidence in the form of glacial striations on rocks that show the direction of movement. Interestingly, where glacial striations are found include the Amazon rainforest and the hot sticky jungle of Central Africa. These are places you cannot find glaciers today simply because they are too close to the equator and receive intense sun's heat, preventing glaciers from forming. He concluded that these places were not always near the equator, but were previously located closer to the poles, where colder climates could exist and support glacier formation. Similarly, Wegner looked at rocks like bituminous coal, which is a sedimentary rock. Bituminous coal is made from compacted and sedimented plant remains. But not just any plant remains. Tropical plant remains from hot, humid jungles. Interestingly, the major coal deposits in the world today are not found in hot, humid areas. Rather, they are found in cold areas like Northern Asia and Antarctica. This indicates that these places must not always have been in their current locations, but were once located close to the equator. 